हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर रिसर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नोमी एट जी बी पंथ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंथनगर उत्तराखंड हेयर आई विल टेल यू अबाउट द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड डिग्री फॉर एंड हाउ बोथ आर रिलेटेड एंड हाउ वी कैन कन्वर्ट सेंटीग्रेड इन टू फॉरन हाइट एंड फॉरन हाइट इन टू सेंटीग्रेड एंड अनदर टेम्परेचर इज कैलविन एंड हाउ कैलविन इज रिलेटेड विद द सेंटीग्रेड सो दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट लेक्चर जनरली न्यूमरिकल्स ऑन द बेस्ड ऑफ टेम्परेचर कन्वर्जन आर आस्ड सो इट इज़ वेरी सिंपल एंड वॉच दिस लेक्चर केयरफुली सो दैट देर इज नो कन्फ्यूजन जनरली टेम्परेचर इज मेजर्ड इन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड अदर यूनिट इज फॉर इन हाइट सो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड इट इज वेरी कॉमन एंड इफ वी टॉक अबाउट दिस डिग्री डिग्री मीन्स डिविजन एंड सेंटी मीन्स हंड्रेड एंड ग्रेड मीन्स विथ डिविजन तो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड मीन्स हंड्रेड डिविजन सो दिस सेंटीग्रेड इज रिलेटेड विद द टेम्परेचर एंड टेम्परेचर इज मेजर्ड एट टू पॉइंट फ्रीजिंग ऑफ वाटर वट इज द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ वाटर एंड वट इज द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ वाटर सो फर्स्ट नो अबाउट इट्स ओरिजिन सो फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ वाटर is considered as zero and boiling point is considered as a 100 and it is in degree it is in degree and this is there are 100 numbers between 0 to 100 so we can make 100 grade between 0 to 100 so that's why it is centigrade so we can write it as 0 degree to 100 centigrade and we can divide this freezing and boiling point in equal 100 parts and one part is equal to 1 degree centigrade so 1 degree centigrade in general is the 100 part 1 upon 100 part between freezing and boiling point so this is the general uh, perception or we can say general understanding that Uh, freezing is considered as zero degree centigrade and boiling is considered as fourteen degree centigrade. So one part means one degree centigrade. If we talk about one degree centigrade, it is the one upon hundred part of the difference between zero to hundred. So or we can divide this into hundred equal parts. If we make a scale, then we can. It is zero. It is hundred. Then we can make equal hundred parts. and one part suppose this is one part it is 1 degree centigrade this is also 1 degree centigrade if we talk about 20 degree centigrade temperature is 20 degree centigrade so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 jahan tak then it is suppose it is the 20th mark 20th mark then it is 20 degree centigrade is it clear so freezing is considered zero and boiling is considered 100 then another unit for the temperature measurement is fahrenheit f a h r e n h e i t spelling is like uh, typical f a h for ren r a n ren he h e e i t fahrenheit and this scale was developed by the scientist gabriel fahrenheit so after the name of scientist this scale is known as fahrenheit so actually fahrenheit gabriel fahrenheit was scientist who developed this scale and he considered freezing point of water uh, as a 32 degree fahrenheit f f for fahrenheit he considered freezing as 32 degree and boiling point as 212 degree fahrenheit so it is suppose 32 to 212 and then he made 180 division in centigrade there was 100 division 
बट इन केस ऑफ फॉरन हाइट देर वर वन एट्टी डिविजन वन एट्टी डिविजन सो इट मीन्स वन फॉरन हाइट इज द डिफरेंस वन एटी डिफरेंस बिटवीन थर्ड बिटवीन फ्रीजिंग एंड बॉइलिंग पॉइंट सो टेक द डिफरेंस ऑफ फ्रीजिंग एंड बॉइलिंग एंड डिवाइड इट बाई वन एट्टी देन वन पार्ट इज वन फॉरन हाइट सो हेयर हंड्रेड डिविजन सेंटीग्रेड वन एट्टी डिविजन फॉरन हाइट एंड द रिफरेंस पॉइंट आर सेम रिफरेंस पॉइंट आर सेम फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट एंड द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट सो दिस इज द बेस फॉर द सेंटीग्रेड एंड फॉरन हाइट सो इट मे बी आज इन एग्जामिनेशन इन फॉरन हाइट वट इज द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट टू हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व डिग्री फॉरन हाइट एंड वट इज द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ वाटर थर्टी टू डिग्री फॉरन हाइट नाउ दिस टू स्केल आर विद द सेम रिफरेंस पॉइंट मीन्स फ्रीजिंग टू बॉइलिंग सो दैट्स वाई दीज टू टेम्परेचर मे बी को रिलेटेड और मे आई वे रिलेशन इन ए फॉर्मूला so we can convert centigrade into fahrenheit and fahrenheit into centigrade with a formula formula is that uh, one division of centigrade is centigrade is divided by 100 then it makes one part so one part of centigrade is c upon 100 and in case of fahrenheit this fahrenheit is start 32 to 212 and centigrade is start from 0 degree centigrade to 100 degree centigrade this is this is the scale in centigrade and fahrenheit so to balance or to make a equality first decrease or subtract 32 then divide it by 180 part so first make a same reference with the freezing point then it has 180 division here to here and it has 100 division so one part is c upon 100 and one part of fahrenheit is f minus 32 upon 80 because it is divided by 180 division it is divided by 100 division now both are equal then there is a balance between this so it means now we can simplify this uh 0 to 0 or we can write it as c upon 10 is equal to f minus 32 upon 18 and further it can be simplified that denominator is divided by 2 then it is 5 and it is 9 so c upon 5 is equal to f minus 32 upon 9 so this is the relationship between the centigrade and foreign height for example if temperature is 30 degree centigrade then what is the temperature in degree foreign height so simply write c is 30 30 upon 5 is equal to f minus 32 upon 9. 5 6 is a 30, or 6 is equal to f minus 32 upon 9. Then cross division 6 into 9 is equal to f minus 32, or we can write it f minus 32 is equal to 54, or f is equal to 54 plus 32. So f is equal to 80 degree fahrenheit so it is degree fahrenheit is 86 so we can write it as 30 degree centigrade is equal to 86 degree fahrenheit so this is the uh, conversion how we can convert degree centigrade into fahrenheit similarly we can convert fahrenheit into degree centigrade now uh, uh we know that human average human uh, body temperature is 98.6 degree fahrenheit this is the normal body temperature 
and now what is in degree centigrade we can calculate so this is a simple question because relationship is c upon 5 is equal to f minus 32 upon 9 then c upon 5 is equal to f value is 98.6 minus 32 divided by 9 or c upon 5 is equal to subtract 32 from 98.6.6666666.6 6, upon 9 or c is equal to 66.6 into 5 upon 9 multiply it by 5 now again recheck 5 6 are 30 carry 3 5 6 are 30 3 33 then 3 5 6 are 30 then 3 or we can write it as c upon 33 upon 9 now divide by this 3 33 by 9 9 3 is a 27 6 9 7 is a 63 so it is c is equal to 37 so it is degree centigrade is 37 it means 96 degree fahrenheit is equal to 37 degree centigrade so this is the uh, conversion how we can convert centigrade into Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit into uh, centigrade and the interesting uh, thing in this conversion is that at minus 40 at minus 40 Fahrenheit degree centigrade and Fahrenheit both are equal means minus 40 degree centigrade is equal to minus 40 degree Fahrenheit we can put this value 40 degree centigrade in this formula then find out what is the Fahrenheit Fahrenheit will be same minus 40 so it is very interesting that at minus 40 temperature both are equal now write 40 minus 40 upon 5 and we want to know what is the Fahrenheit value minus 8 is equal to f minus 32 upon 9 then it is minus 72 is equal to f minus 32 or f is equal to minus 72 plus 32 f is equal to minus 40 it means minus 40 degree centigrade minus 40 degree centigrade is equal to minus 40 degree Fahrenheit so this is the temperature remember it this temperature minus 40 minus 40 degree centigrade is equal to minus 40 degree Fahrenheit at this point minus 40 both are equal so this is very important and interesting then another temperature is Kelvin and Kelvin uh, we do not uh, use degree for example uh, uh, in degree centigrade degree centigrade is the symbol of degree and degree Fahrenheit but in case of Kelvin this Kelvin abbreviation is only K there is no degree Kelvin is read and written without degree so it is degree centigrade degree Fahrenheit but it is not degree and the relationship between Kelvin and degree centigrade is Kelvin is equal to a degree centigrade plus 273.15 this is the relationship suppose you want to know at to 30 degree centigrade what is the Kelvin temperature so Kelvin is equal to 30 plus 273.15 so Kelvin is equal to 0 0.153 303.15 so we can say that 30 degree centigrade is equal to 303.15 Kelvin if we want to convert Fahrenheit into Kelvin then convert Fahrenheit the simplicity for simplicity convert this Fahrenheit degree Fahrenheit into degree centigrade then convert it into Kelvin so this is very uh, simple relationship and if 
Kelvin is zero, then what is the temperature? And zero Kelvin temperature is known as absolute zero. This is very important. Absolute temperature is the temperature when we assume that there is no molecular activity. Absolute zero temperature means zero Kelvin. Zero Kelvin temperature. So this question will be asked at absolute zero temperature what is in degree centigrade so in kelvin it is zero kelvin so k is equal to degree centigrade plus 273.15 now it is absolute zero so kelvin is equal to zero degree centigrade plus 273.15 so centigrade c is equal to 273.15 or we can say it is 270 it is degree centigrade 273.15 degree centigrade so 0 kelvin is equal to 270 sorry minus it is minus minus 273.15 so it is very low temperature and it is assumed that below this temperature or at there is no molecular activity so it is the considered the minimum temperature so absolute zero is in kelvin so temperature is also indicated uh, in Kelvin. So these are three temperature degree centigrade, degree Fahrenheit and Kelvin. So in standard uh, form Kelvin is used. So and temperature may be expressed in centigrade and Fahrenheit also. So this was the uh, conversion uh, between these three temperature if we want to convert Fahrenheit into Kelvin then for simplicity for simple calculation convert Fahrenheit into centigrade then convert centigrade into Kelvin so Kelvin centigrade relationship is very easy so this was the relationship between centigrade Fahrenheit and Kelvin thank you very much